This is a topic I made a video of all the way back in the year 2012. But that video is slideshows and text with no narration, so I figured why not update it and make a new one? Besides, not many people saw it anyway. This video is going to talk about the former Republic of Minerva. Minerva was a micronation, meaning a place that called itself a country, but was so laughably tiny and unofficial that it got so little recognition and therefore really wasn't a country. It was kind of similar to Sealand today off the coast of the United Kingdom, except this one was actually invaded by a country. Minerva was located in the Pacific Ocean on some reefs, specifically on the Minerva Reefs. Michael Oliver, a real estate millionaire, established the micronation in 1970 and made Morris C. Davis provisional president. He literally built up the island by unloading tons of sand around the reefs until it became walkable land. Then he built a tower on the island. Naturally, being a nation, you need things like flags and coins, so he totally made those. He made a flag for the Republic of Minerva, and he also minted some coins. I'd wager that being a millionaire probably helped with making that. But after doing all this, he finally declared the nation's independence on January 19th, 1972. He even gave all the neighboring countries a notice in a nice little letter. However, that wasn't taken very well by those other countries. They were suspicious of the intentions of the new country, and so a committee of Australia, New Zealand, and other Melanesian countries met together. They looked carefully at the map and noticed that technically, the Minerva Reefs were within Tonga's claimed maritime boundaries, meaning Tonga had an excuse to invade the Republic of Minerva and take back their rightful land. They sent troops, the flag was lowered, the president was fired by Michael Oliver, and the Republic ended. Or did it? In 1982, Morris C. Davis decided to come back with some Americans to retake the reefs and try again. But after three weeks, Tonga drove them off again. Yeah, not exactly as comparable as the Battle of Waterloo, but it is interesting how we have an example of a micronation dealing with an invasion with actual troops. Twice. Yeah, this video was short. I really wanted to finish the video for the Turkish War of Independence for next week, so get ready for that. But if you want to see that video early, you could always support this channel through my Patreon. I'm also adding an exclusive Discord server specifically for patrons, so we can have more exclusive chats and maybe host streams there and stuff. Any support is always appreciated. I'm Emperor Tigerstar, and I'll see you guys next time.